G'day. Welcome to another curriculum burst. This time, let's look at a geometry problem from the Great Eight competition. It goes as follows. The diagram shows an octagon consisting of 10 unit squares. The position below PQ, that line segment PQ, so here's the diagram, the uh, portion below line PQ is a unit square and a triangle, apparently, with base 5. And the question is, if PQ bisects the area of the octagon, what is the ratio XQ over QY? I just read it out loud, I have no idea what I just read. So I'm going to have to spend a moment processing this question. I did step one, which is read the question. That's a good problem solving technique, Re actually read the question, of course. But we also need to process it, digest it, and see if we can make sense of it, even if it feels a bit scary. My first question about this picture, here's the diagram in the question is, it says it's an octagon. Do I even see an octagon in this picture? An octagon looks like a stop sign. Well, actually, if I think about it, octagons need not be regular. There is actually an octagon in this picture, an eight-sided shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so at least I see the octagon now. That's good. So what's the question? It says these, this octagon has area 10 square units. My picture's a little bit wonky, but yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Area is indeed 10. Great. Now, the portion of the figure below the line PQ, so here's the line PQ, the portion of the figure apparently has, uh, is a triangle of base 5 and another unit square, if I read the question correctly. Now, I'm a little bit confused, actually. What do they mean by below the line PQ? It looks like it's just the part literally below PQ. It's ignoring that part. Well, is that what the question means? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a triangle with a base of 5. But the question said a triangle with a base of 5 and a unit square. So I guess they mean all of this. All right. So that, was, that makes sense, the uh, portion below the line PQ. Now we're told, keep reading the question, there's a lot to process in this question, if PQ bisects the area of the octagon, oh, what does bisect mean? Well, I guess bisect means chopped in half. So I guess this, area, this octagon is being chopped into two equal parts, two equal areas. Now remember, the whole area was 10 which means I guess the area above and the area below are each five. Ah, aha, uh -huh. now I'm feeling hopeful. Because if the area below is five and there's one little unit square there, I'm not quite sure where I'm going, but uh, that means that triangle better be area four. So I guess I'm really employing the strategy here of once I'm just reading the question and just getting going with it of strategy number two, do something. I'm doing something. I'm processing the question right now. I have a little piece of information. There's a triangle here of area four. And I know its base is five. Now I feel like I have some hope. I bet I could work out the height of that triangle. And if I continue processing the question, which is about length segments XQ and QY, I might have enough information now to work out what these actual length numbers are. So I'm going to advise you, continue reading the final part of the question, try to make sense of it, and then see if you can actually use the information we've got so far to get somewhere with it. Give it a good try. Feel free to check your answer with the essay that goes with this video. And if you get stuck, check the essay that goes with this video. It's all there. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.